time for a good old fashioned toy hunt. Of course the difference is, I'm on vacation. Let's see what we can find. Walking into Target, let's see what we can find in this store. Uh, heading down the aisles, you always have to check out the clearance end caps to see what you can find. Buzz Lightyear clogging up the shelves, oh yay, woo! Uh, oh look at Joe Joe, ooh Vampra, Viper, sorry Viper. Uh, yeah, twelve dollars. Uh, yeah, Dune figures. I still haven't watched that movie. Is it good, guys? Okay, so you got Superman page punchers, and let's see what else we got here. Some oh, Funko Pops. Damn you, Funko Pops. Anyway, so back to oh, look Transformers. So eighty-six Nah, eighty-six Brawn, uh, Earth Spark. We got some Gamer vs. Starscream. And yeah, pretty cool. Go back to the Transformers. Now, obviously looking for Frenzy in the core class here, like everyone else collecting Transformers. Uh, nothing here. Didn't expect to find them. Anyway, so, you know, basically you regular United. Uh, Legacy United uh, Origins Wheeljack. I'm a fan of this guy. I haven't added him to my collection yet, but he's on the list. So, yeah, cool to see him there. And uh, basically, let's see, some uh, movie stuff. Got you seen briefly 109 and Megatron there. GI Joe stuff, you got Mutt and Heavy Metal. Uh, it's a common occurrence you'll see. And of course, Retro Duke. That's pretty cool. Uh, don't have Retro Duke, do have Retro Scarlet already added to collection. Mm, I'll get Duke at some point, I think, but not right now. Anyways, so let's see where we're going here. Let's leave here and head to Walmart. And so about to walk into a Walmart on vacation here. See what they have available. Anyways, let's see. The Walmart's always usually pretty stocked. Let's see, we got, we got uh, Sludge there, 86 Sludge. That's pretty cool. Um, the regular guys here, there's a lot of RC here for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's almost two racks of RC. Uh, Doritos Jazz went by there. Uh, let's walk down the aisle to see what else we got here. Godzilla. Uh, what else? Ooh, slow it down if you want to see more. It looks like we have, let's see, Star Wars, regular stuff. Let's go to Ross now. People always find stuff at Ross, right? So many deals to be had. Walking into Ross to see what we can find here. And I found nothing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff. If you're a fan of Ninja Turtles, there was stuff here, these two movie figures. But besides that, there was absolutely nothing in this Ross in the tourist district. I guess it's already been ravaged. Um, couldn't even, I couldn't give my money away. Anyways, the only thing I found of interest, more Ninja Turtles, the only thing I found of interest was possibly this He-Man set, which I don't really collect He-Man, so you know what? Let's get out of here. We'll go over to Marshall's next door. Marshall's, let's see what we can find here. Once again, now at home, sometimes you'll find stuff in Marshall's here absolutely nothing such a disappointment um really i don't even know why i included it in the video hopefully let's find some more stuff soon let's get out of here and go to the next stop back to another target um so once again on vacation hitting some spots up i don't usually get to see walking into target let's see what we can find here Target usually has a pretty good selection of stuff. Regular Star Wars stuff here. Ah, uh, wow! Look at this core section. You got some Cheetor and some Megatron. Pretty, pretty bear there. 86 Blaster. Still a really cool figure. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, nothing much. Uh, Silverhawk. A couple of Silverhawks. Yeah, not interested. And animated uh, Bumblebee there, just hiding up top there. Mm, Ghostbusters. I didn't. We've never. Se I've never seen these in Canada before. Pretty cool to see. N don't. Not gonna start right now. Let's see. And GI Joes. Oh look, we have Mutt once again. And uh, pretty much it. And yeah, that's it. Uh, looks like I found more uh, Python Patrol Viper on clearance. It's twelve ninety nine, I believe. I, too much for me. I'm not into the Python Patrol and definitely not Viper who I'm not really interested in at all. Anyways, so cool for somebody else, not for me. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, look, a little Transformer section. Some some of the usual Transformer United figures. Pretty cool to see them animate a Bumblebee, Wingblade. Um, let's see. Yeah, just the regular guys. 
Got some Earth Spark stuff there. This little shooter thing. That's kind of weird. I've never actually seen that, but it's Nerf. Switching gears here for a second, heading over to the Premium Outlet Mall, uh, Disney discount store. Uh, so, you know, usually there's no Transformers, no G.I. Joe, but usually you can find some heavily discounted Star Wars stuff. This four pack of uh, vintage figures. Um, basically, stuff is usually about 30 to 50% off retail price. So, you know, if you're a Star Wars collector, it's a cool place to check out. You got this uh, Black Series three pack of Ghosts, um, you know, heavily discounted pretty cool um, I always come here sometimes you can find a deal you got some black series on discount uh, from Obi-Wan and from Ahsoka and over here we got some Marvel Legends just some just leftover characters you know Marvel Legends some of the Disney stuff isn't really selling that well got this uh, pack of uh, creatures I think it's uh, so let me flip it over I think it's $14.99 might be cool if you need it for like a diorama or something of course, the Indiana Jones series, which was a total failure. These were discounted heavily. Uh, then you got the X-Men 97 Magneto helmet. Pretty cool. The hunt continues at Ollie's. Of course, you know, a great little stop. A ton of Marvel Legends on clearance here. I was actually looking for some Age of Apocalypse figures. They had Jean Grey. They had Cyclops. I really wanted Rogue and Magneto. So I flicked through every single one of these Marvel Legends to find those figures. I did end up checking it out finally finding uh rogue um so that was a cool hit so that's awesome been looking for her but some G movie gi joe figures oh my gosh these guys are still on the, the uh, shelves here anyways some cool stuff um there, there's always you can always find something cool always at discounted price i had a coupon as well in my email you got the lego or the knockoff lego rattler pretty cool looking the box but horrible to play with netflix figures um, Stranger Things, um, somebody might like that, not for me, but discounted prices, you got some double, sorry, not double dragon, you got Dungeons and Dragons figures, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else they got here, all these is always a mixture, you've really got to look through the shelves, Godzilla, um, yeah. Um, so, you know, you, you, you kind of got to make sure you're not missing anything, there might be stuff hiding Super Mario Bros there. As we go through here, some... Hot Wheels, some uh, nothing cool there, and yeah, uh, no, nothing. Um, so okay, so some Black Series. Oh my gosh, this, this is still on the shelves here. Force Awakens stuff. Um, no, Last Jedi. Um, anyway, so so you got some Tarkin there. That's pretty cool. Um, he's a classic character. A lot of old stuff. Some Star Wars retro here. I'm not a fan of the retro stuff. They're heavily discounted, and I don't think many people want them. The Clone Wars Vintage, not bad. They are $3.99, more retro um, as we go through a lot of Marvel stuff. More Marvel Legends, I'm not really sure why they weren't over the other section. These are Loki ones. Um, nothing too exciting here. And uh, let's see what else we got here. More, a lot of Black Panther stuff. Um, more Star Wars stuff. Anyways, so... I missed this Beast Wars figures. I'm not into Beast Wars, but I figured I'd put it in the video. Not bad for somebody. There, it was exclusive. Um, anyways, not for me. Basically, what else we got here? This very weird Cobra Commander could make a cool display figure. Not for me right now, though. You got some Archie, which is different. That's kind of cool. The hunt continues at a target. Basically, if you've watched for this long, guys, maybe hit the subscribe button, leave a like. It'd be much appreciated. But let's see what else is here at this different target here. Got a pretty good selection of Jurassic Park stuff. This thing really caught my eye. I don't collect Micro uh, Squad, but this uh, Millennium Falcon with TIE Fighter Interceptors was really cool. At the clearance section, they had this Captain America, Infinity War, um, basically ugh, Star Trek, gross. Um, not much happening there at that section. We go over regular G.I. Joe. We got some Mutt. Uh, what else? We've got a few mutts here, actually. Mutt and Junkyard, they look like four or five just sitting there. And, uh, well, looks so we got some heavy metal uh, hiding in the corner here. So he's pretty cool. Let's see, Transformers-wise, same uh, core class guys hanging out. No Frenzy, still no Frenzy. Uh, we got Silverhawk again. And, oh, we got uh, Cybertron Starscream hiding in the back there. And what else we got down here? We got that, uh, oh, we got uh, Earthspark Optimus Prime with a trailer, kind of cool. Uh, let's see, 
And uh, more Transformers. We got a Gamer vs. Starscream. And let's see what else. Oh, we got Wingblade. That's cool. And um, yeah, regular guys. Nothing much here. The toy hunt continues at this last Walmart while on vacation. This one was very well stocked. Walmart is usually well stocked. I was impressed with this Walmart. The toy section was so huge. Uh, on the way to Transformers and G.I. Joe, uh, seeing the uh, X-Men 97 uh, second wave here. It looked like it was fully stocked there. Pretty much every character there. Pretty cool series. Um, for Transformers, this, this Walmart was well stocked. Um, like regular deluxe guys, pretty good selection. You got Doritos Jazz there, you got Dirtus, uh, you got some of the laser uh, cycles, you got Wing Blade, you got Sideswipe, lots of cool different figures. They actually had no core figures, which is weird. But down below there, here you have uh, Armada Starscream, the 86 Ratchet. Down below, you got Galvatron, you got Blitzwing. Um, this guy was kind of weird that the Optimus Prime, but basically they were pretty well. 86 Snarl, 86 Sludge, sorry, hiding in the back there. They had the new Retro. First time I had seen Rakondo in my hands, so Rakondo's pretty cool. He's a pretty, I think he's a must get. Um, I have the Tire Force one, but the the Retro Rakondo is pretty sweet. They had the they had Duke and Scarlet there as well on the rack. So that was it for the stores while on vacation, but now I'm back home locally and man my store's home This is a Walmart is fully stocked. I didn't have to go anywhere Turns out they got retro Rokondo, Scarlet Duke. They got a full box of technical vipers there for some reason I'm not really sure what happened there head over to the transformer section fully stocked Look at those retro blasters and sound waves just sitting there on the shelf waiting to be purchased uh, they had everything here, United, the core guys had seen everyone else, a bunch of the movie stuff. Basically, everything was already here. I didn't have to go far. In the end, here's what I walked away with. I walked into a Walmart the next day and I found a frenzy just sitting there, so I had to pick him up. And then, of course, I did pick up that Age of Apocalypse Rogue from the Marvel Legends series. I've been looking for it. And so that is the main thing that I picked up in the toy hunt while on vacation and added it to collection. While you're here, make sure you check out the latest episode of the Everything Transformers, Everything G.I. Joe podcast. And you know what? Let me know the on-screen graphics. Are they any good? I'm testing some stuff out. I want some feedback. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.